Since we first released Sunday Keys back in 2016, we've added game-changing features with each update. Features like the tonic pad generator, smartphone and tablet control of the template, and the groundbreaking patch builder workflow. Now we're introducing Easy Chord. Easy Chord allows you to toggle on left-hand chord triggers for pads, organs, arps, and more at the touch of a button. Easy Chord can be turned on and off in real time, so you can have full range of a pad for the majority of a song and then switch over to full chords triggered by just a bass note when you need your right hand for a killer lead line. Let me show you how it works. All right, so I have Sunday Keys for Main Stage open, and I've just built a layered patch using Patch Builder that has a piano and a couple different flavors of pad sounds so I can demonstrate how Easy Chord works. I'm using the Nano Control 2 so I can toggle uh, Easy Chord on and off in real time. So to start off with, I want to show you the default behavior of Easy Chord on this uh, pad channel strip. And that's just to give you an octave effect. So an octave above in addition to whatever you play. So here's this pad. And then I'll turn on chord. And it just gives you some extra high frequency content. I can turn that back off. So with the piano, I'll turn easy chord on to octave. So that's the default functionality. It's not locked to any specific key. It's just gonna give you an octave on top of whatever you're playing in addition to the original notes. Um, but what really, uh, when easy chord really gets cool is when you designate a key inside of the interface. So I'm gonna go up here and choose the key of D. So now I'm gonna turn easy chord back off for this pad. So right now I have full range of the keyboard where I can play this pad sound uh, manually. If I turn on easy chord, then the right hand is no longer triggering any keys at all. So if I needed to play a piano part in the right hand, I could do that. And then when I play single bass notes in the left hand, then I get this full worship pad voicing uh, playing this really nice chord for me with just the bass note. So I can bring this piano back in. The way that Easy Chord uh, has the trigger notes voiced is that the lower octave is going to give you a low and mid-range focus chord, and then if you add an, an octave on top of it with your thumb, then you're going to get some additional high notes on top of it so it pokes out a little bit more in the mix. So uh, you might be wondering, well, when would I actually use this? Why wouldn't I just leave that pad in the right hand? Sometimes if you're playing something busier in the right hand, you don't want that pad following you around everywhere that you go. So if I were to play that same lead part, with easy chord turned off, then you hear all of those lead notes are being sustained in the right hand. And it's sort of getting in the way of the specificity of the piano part that I'm playing. But if I turn easy chord on, and I just have the piano up here, I'm still able to fill that frequency spectrum with the pad, but it's not following every single note in real time, it's a much smoother way to be able to fill that space with your synth pad sounds, but also have room for a lead part on top. So here it is with Easy Chord turned on. So I'm able to do whatever I need to do in the right hand, and the chords are gonna be where I need them to be. So I'm gonna show you how this sounds with something a little bit more bright now. I'm gonna turn on this strong pad, and we're gonna bring up the attack as well so you can hear it with a little bit more fidelity. So here it is with easy chord off. I've got the full range of the keyboard. And then I'll turn easy chord on.
and then I'm able to play whatever I need over the top. off and play the pad in real time anytime that I need to. Easy Chord is super simple to use and it unlocks a lot of new playability and functionality inside of Sunday Keys for main stage. It's really similar to how we program our song specific patches to make it possible for you to play parts that you didn't think you'd be able to pull off as the only keys player. Now you can do this with this functionality inside of Sunday Keys for main stage. This is one of the features that makes Sunday Keys the foundation of your worship keys rig. There's a link in the description if you'd like to learn more about this template for yourself. Thanks for watching.